Good afternoon. Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and troubleshoot an issue we're having with this motor my son just bought. Uh, it's a 2006 model Tahatsu 9.8 four-stroke and it's no longer spitting out any water so we want to uh, troubleshoot that. We're going to check the impeller and also to see if there's any clogged hoses. Um, before we get started I just want to point out a couple of things that you'll need to note on the shift linkage. You have a three millimeter punch pin. Uh, there's usually two of them on this model. Uh, apparently the guy that had this before us who changed out the impeller put in a screw. Um, so we'll either leave that in place or put a stainless steel cotter pin. Uh, but again, you'll need a three millimeter punch to get that pin out if you have a pin in yours. Um, also, uh, you'll need, there's four bolts holding on the foot that are 10 millimeters. So you either need a 10 millimeter wrench or uh, a ratchet. You may just have some trouble getting around these fins, so you may need a, bend, a bending elbow uh, on your ratchet to get, get around those. Um, you'll want to put the, the motor up in a tilted position um, just to make it easier for you. And we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, I got the foot off as you can see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove the uh, top half of the water pump and check the impeller. Um, and we'll see if uh, that's the problem. We haven't been shooting out any water, so we want to make sure that the uh, impeller is in good shape and uh, troubleshoot from there. Okay, I'm on the last bolt of the um, pump housing, the top half. I'm going to go ahead and remove that and then um, remove the pump housing top part and uh, check out the impeller. Got the top of the pump housing off um, and also got the impeller out. You can see the impeller is all misshapen. Uh, it needs to be replaced. Uh, I'm supposed to get that part later today and I'll continue with this video. A couple things to note is when you remove the housing and the impeller, um, there is a little key or pin that fits in this slot. When you remove the impeller, which has a, a you know, slot here on the inside, as you can see, um, this pin will fall out. So you got to make sure you don't lose this key or pin um, because when you put the new one on, you're going to need it. Uh, I'll go over on the steps on inserting that pin or how to uh, install it once I get the new impeller. A new impeller in as you can see. Uh, here's the new one. It uh, looks perfect. This one, again the old one, you can see uh, it's pretty beat up. These uh, fam fans are uh, kind of bent and cracking. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put this uh, new one on. Alright, uh, I got the key in place as you can see uh, on the uh, there's a flat spot on this shaft that uh, I put a little grease on to hold it in place. I'm going to go ahead and slide the impeller down. Hopefully find the slot on the impeller and match it up with the key. Um, sometimes you got to wiggle it a little bit and you can see that it's uh, going on. If that key is not there, um, the impeller will not work. It won't rotate. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, water pump housing, top of the housing back on. What you want to do here, and I, I can't do it uh, on the video because I need two hands, is um, you're going to turn the uh, shaft here clockwise. Uh, you know, the propeller is going to be facing you. Uh, and you're going to turn the shaft uh, clockwise as you're uh, lightly pushing down on the water pump housing. Now that I got my housing in place, I'm going to go ahead and put the bolts back in. Uh, I'm going to put a little grease on the uh, threads of each of the bolt um, so it doesn't uh, seize uh, uh, to the uh, foot here. Okay, I got the uh, housing back together for the uh, water pump. Um, right now I'm going to go ahead and test it. Um, the way that I'm going to do that is um, bring the water level up high enough. I mean, if you could see, it does have the... Um, you know the uh, vent opening at the bottom but you got to get a little past that because uh, the pump is not self priming so you got to get it the water level up high enough so the water will work so what I did is I went ahead and hooked up a cordless drill to the shaft uh, make sure it's going clockwise you're going to want to fill the water line up to just below here uh, below the um, water pump uh, where it sits uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and start the drill and you can see water coming out so I know that it is now working. Alright now I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, foot back on to the motor here. Um, I'm going to need both hands so I'm going to turn this off go ahead and uh, slide it into place just make sure you put a little uh, grease on the end of the uh, shaft here and that the uh, 
uh, shift uh, goes through the correct hole. Um, you may have to wiggle it a little bit to make sure it goes in right, but um, I'll go ahead and do that and then uh, we'll start the next part of the video. Okay, I got the uh, foot back on. I need to go ahead and bolt it down. Uh, the four bolts, two on each side. I'm going to go ahead and put grease on the threads of these bolts as well. I got my four bolts in. Uh, now I'm going to put the, uh, well, no, typically it's a pin uh, for the uh, link to the uh, to put it in a shifter, um, but I'm using a screw, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in place. All right, now that I've got the shifter pin back in place, I'm gonna go ahead and start it and see if uh, we have water going through the motor. Okay, well, as you see, I didn't get a very good uh, water flow uh, coming out, so um, I'm gonna check to see if there's any kind of blockage in the hose here. Um, I already went ahead and removed it and um, I don't feel anything at the end here. I'm sticking just a, a, a wire up uh, into the hose and I don't feel any blockage yet. Um, since there's so many bends I don't want to uh, you know make a hole in the uh, hose. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and blow in this hose to see if there's any blockage and if so we'll take the hose off and try to clear it out. So I went ahead and uh, the foot into a bucket of water instead of using the muffs um, I don't seem like I get a good seal with that um, so I'm going to try it with the bucket um, and also see if um, I, I did find a little bit of blockage in the hose so hopefully that did it we're going to go ahead and give it a shot I'll start it up and then uh, show you the results you can clearly see now uh, the stream of water is uh, as it's supposed to be uh, so the blockage was definitely it uh, and the new impeller 